Greetings! Hello guys! Today I'm going to talk about how to make floating vaults and how to make floating map groups or at least how to make it to defend your base a little bit better. This is a tip and trick and maybe this could be use for you. So first and foremost I'd like to declare that some of these methods are not legit like it's sort of illegal so if somebody reports with a screenshot or with a video to Funcom that you or anybody did this most likely one gonna get banned for it so some parts of it are not legal so be aware I'm gonna say it where it's probably not legal but I, I'm not sure what's the policy at Funcom so let's get right into it. So basically, as you can see, I made these floating vaults over here. Right now I'm gonna just show you quickly how to do it. So there are like two methods to do it. And one is probably legit and the other one is less legit. For example, this floating vault is probably less likely to be legit. Meanwhile, this one, or that one, or that one, or that one, is legit. The reason why they are legit and legal is that how vaults and map rooms work, I'm gonna show you later in the video how map rooms work, but how vaults work, they need some sort of structure to be connected to. This structure could be foundation, ceilings, any building pieces basically, or some basic mountain, grass, I don't know, tree, or a temple's side or, or something some sort of structure it needs to be connected with. Over here what you can see is that so it has some connection to the mountain and over here this one has just barely but it still does have. So that means that uh, it's gonna be here. Over here is the same. So these are probably legal to do on official servers or on private servers but if you're on private server first ask the admin if you can do this for safety reasons and over here this one as well is legit and I'm going to show you another one and this one is legit too the reason why it's legit is because it has some sort of connection to the pillar so that's how you can deal with it. If you build a base that uh, you place a map room on top of your base, what you can do is you can make an entrance because from bottom of the map room you can climb up. I'm going to show you how you can do it. So basically you're on the bottom. What you do is you just climb out. The thing is, is that you can't go back uh, just the only case if you remove the map room and you replace it uh, when you went inside but that's probably harder so map room has this sort of trick for it so let me show you how you can actually do it basically I'm going to show you the two techniques over here at this pillar what you need to do is you need the foundation just as high that if you lower the vault the vault gonna have connection to the structure so this is what we need basically nothing else so I built the foundation like really low so what I need is I need to place the vault and lower it so it has connection to the structure I'm gonna right now delete these three foundations and as you can see it has connection but I'm gonna delete the last one and now you can see nothing holds it and it's sticking around let me show you the other technique for the other technique you are going to need two drawbridges but minimum one I usually do it with two I'm going to show you how to do it So basically, you have two gateways, two drawbridges. Okay. 
So, so far what I experienced is that you have to place the vault really really close to the drawbridge so it's gonna work that it's gonna fl float. If you place it a little bit further away from the drawbridge it's not gonna work. So I showed you the two techniques how to do this uh, floating vault. There are like other techniques but those are illegal so Funcom would uh, instantly ban you if they would see it so I'm not gonna promote that stuff how you can make it with the map room basically it's the same over here I can show you again how to climb up so you have a base over here let's say and you have a map room on top let's say I just climb up and all I need to do is just climb up like this and here we go. So I'm gonna show you how to make uh, the map room float as well. All you need is elevate a little bit. You need only one foundation and then you can place it but before you do so all you need to do, what I also forgot, is to lower the map room. When you lower that, it should work. And as you can see, it works. And you can place map rooms like this. I wanted also to talk about wall damage because in the previous videos I was talking about bombing and wall damage underwater, it's last, last damage, it's partly true, partly not. So, so let me show you what's really going on over here. I have a vault with full HP, I'm going to bomb it and as you can see it dealt like 5k explosion damage, overall it's gonna take like 5.5 maximum 6k damage. Let's test it out underwater. I'm gonna just stay here. As you can see, it's the same amount of damage. The thing is, is that bolts overally take less damage uh, than a building piece. For example, let me bomb it on this foundation. As you can see, it directly dealt 6 but rather 7k damage to a foundation or a little bit even more you may never know and overall what we dealt with what we dealt with two bombs is like 8 to 9k damage to a vault so that's like almost half of it let me dust it out over here too one more time how much damage it would deal as you can see, it, it dealt like 9k, 8.5k damage underwater. So the vaults are overally taking less damage than a building piece, than a chest, for example, or a foundation, or a wall, or anything. So you need more bombs to destroy a vault. The only thing what's in there is that, let me replace this. What's in there is that if you place a bomb on top of the vault, it deals less damage than if you would place it next to it, like around it. If you would place it around, it would deal more damage than if you would place it on top. Right now we dealt like 3.5k, so 6 point something. So we dealt like uh, 4k instantly. Over here on top, what we usually do is like 3k damage. But let's check it out underwater. I'm gonna. So I placed the new vault just to test it out. So we dealt three, three and a half k damage. Over here we dealt more than four k. So overall, if you would place bombs on top of the vault, it would take less damage than just placing next to it on the bottom. 
So what you want to do if you're raiding a vault, just place bombs next to it on the bottom. Never deal from the top because that could be 1, 2, 3k difference for each bomb altogether. So I showed you earlier how to use those techniques with the vaults. What I want to show you guys is how you can use it to your advantage. For example, over here, I built a perfect example how you can use it to your advantage. The only place where they could come is either destroying the foundations on the bottom which holds the gateways, or if they manage to come up through all the fences, then they would, they would be able to reach the top and from the top they would bomb down. But all of this is really time consuming, you have to admit as well. So basically if you place a vault on a drawbridge, the only drawback it could have is that you won't be able to repair it. So the vault has 150k, the drawbridge has 200 so that's a huge difference, that's a 50k uh, half difference. That's a few bombs. So what you want to do is that as soon as your vault is destroyed, you want to repair your drawbridge because up until it's not destroyed, you won't be able to repair your drawbridge. And your vault is basically unrepairable. I use the technique like this floating vault, like half of it is just floating over here as you can see. I place ceiling and as you can see if the vault has some sort of connection it still hangs out. Up until those ceilings and the gateway is not destroyed it's gonna still hang around here. The other technique what I wanted to show you guys is that you can place one to two vaults into the map room and I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm destroying the vault and I'm gonna just place over here a new one. The only drawback it could have is that you won't be able to see where you want to teleport to. So you want to be familiar which teleport, which obelisk is which. Up until you're not familiar with it, do not use it or just make a scratch which bracelet part would teleport you to which obelisk. So make sure that you know that. So as you can see, I dealt some damage to the vault and you can also just repair it underwater. Sometimes underwater it bugs out and you won't be able to. So be aware of that, that if you have underwater vaults, just place a little bit more of those because sometimes they could just bug out and you won't be able to repair it. It occurred to me like three times altogether and it wasn't fun because we were raiding. So thank you guys for watching. I hope everything was clear. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section or write me a private message. Stay tuned. Up until the next video. Bye. No sleep, no rest. Night crash, night break. The first time.